Everyone knows Sonic Ads, right? We all grew up with it. It was a cartoon that was dubbed in English by four kids way back in the good old days, and has been highly praised for its voice cast, its story, and characters. It's still beloved by many, with many memorable moments and episodes, such as Sonic assisting Helen, a girl who is in a wheelchair wanting to see an island, the Shadow Saga, as well as the original character Cosmo and her relationship with Tails. However, there have been many, many, and I mean many, things that were wrong with it, and bad, that many and I also do agree with. Okay, I'm getting the big one out of the way, and that's the character, Chris Thorndike. You are dumb, unworthy, untalented. See, Chris is the main human character who Sonic and the majority of Sonic's friends live with. Unfortunately, he has been the subject of criticism by fans as his character takes the spotlight away from some of the Sonic cast and even Sonic himself, making it seem like this show is chris ads, not Sonic ads. He seems to be shoehorned into everything. He basically filled the role that Tails normally has with Sonic. I don't even remember if the show had any Tails and Sonic brotherly moments. And I get that he's the main character, but this is a series about Sonic, not the human cast. We'll touch more on the humans later. Uh, so during the story arcs that are ripped from the games, Chris took roles from the Sonic cast that they were originally supposed to do. Such as Chris taking the role of Amy's moment with Shadow, even though Amy is right there. As well as him looking very similar to Maria for some reason. Thus making him more involved in the plot, more so than the cast themselves. There were many other moments, but the big one that had everyone with pitchforks was when Sonic and the others had to go home. And he was very against Sonic going home because he said he would be all alone without Sonic and even goes as far as keeping him from leaving. Oh, this got fired from everyone. See, this probably wouldn't have been a big of a deal. It still would have regardless, but okay. He states that he would have been all alone because of his parents never being around as much as he wanted due to their careers. They clearly care and do love him but they aren't around a lot, so he would be a lonely rich kid. But here's the problem. Chris wasn't really a lonely kid. He had friends who were close to him, he has been seen to hang out with them even without Sonic around, and has a cool grandpa who was basically a good father figure to him. He wasn't really alone. Yes, I do get that at the end of the day, your parents are the ones that a child needs, regardless of friendships and stuff. Family always comes first. But he made it seem like without Sonic, he'd be all alone. No one else. If I was his friend and heard him say that, I'd be a little stung. Season 3 did him a little tiny justice, but honestly, they didn't need to put him in there. If you remove him from the plot of Season 3, it would literally change nothing. Quick note, I will say that Helen should have been the main human character instead of Chris. Made so much more sense, and that episode with her really showed how it would have worked well. Just saying. Even she was more like Maria. That would have made much more sense for Shadow to bond with her. And so since we're speaking of the humans, we had to talk about how many did not like how Sonic and the others were stuck on Earth for the first two seasons. Because at times, while the plot is around the usual stop Eggman plot, while also dealing with other plots, because the Sonic characters are stuck in the human world, it makes it seem like less of a Sonic show. When you think of a Sonic TV series, you think of them having adventures all in their universe, plots in their world. And since there are so many times where the focus is on the humans, it makes it less about Sonic himself. Don't get me wrong though, me and a lot of the fans definitely did like some of the humans, like Helen, Ella, Mrs. Tanaka, and Topaz. But it seemed like more like a human show and not a Sonic show. Another thing people didn't like was the censorship and omitting a song of Sonic music, and certain scenes in the episodes were cut as well. See, since 4Kids was a channel for, you know, kids, 
there obviously were many times where certain scenes were changed to fit the urban demographic. As an example, or really the best example I can give, examples plural, are like the story with Maria. When this story was adapted to the show, instead of Maria losing her life at the hands of one of the GUN agents, who we do meet by the way, I do like that they did that, I hope they do that in the movie. In the four kids version of the story, they had it seem like she was taken away instead of losing her life. No indication of where she went, just taken away. This also applies to the original character Molly in season 3, whose ship exploded with her in it in the original version. But in the four kids airing, she just flew away. To hide. To parts unknown. Yeah. I know. Rouge herself has things changed for obvious reasons, and there was a scene where Knuckles fought Rouge and he scratched her, showing a little bit of blood. And many did not like Gamma's dub voice. It was pretty... odd. And then replacing Sonic music and iconic scenes like Live and Learn being changed. Bad. Also, many did not like how Amy was portrayed in the show. Specifically, her crush on Sonic was cranked up to 11. And her temper was also cranked up. It reminded me and many of the character Sakura's temper tantrums, just used for comedy purposes. While some say this persona was their favorite Amy, some fans found her annoying, and honestly, so did I. And that persona was brought into many future games, but thank goodness they changed it up now. I like her way more than I did back then. Real quick before my last note, fans didn't like how Knuckles was portrayed. More so him getting fooled by Eggman, like four or five times in the show. Like, I get that he's the gullible one, but come on guys, once or twice was enough. Lastly, I want to talk about Dark Supersonic. While it was cool to see, fans wish that we had more scenes with this form, as it is the one of the few times that we see Sonic lose his temper and turn into this. As of this video, we have not seen this form in other media yet, which sucks because it looks super cool. Of course, this form can only be brought out if Sonic gets very angry, so I think we can only see this form again if uh, Sonic sees someone like Tails, Knuckles, or Amy getting hurt bad in front of him, but the chances of that happening are very slim. Those are the most complaints I saw many had with the show. I made this post about it on YouTube and Twitter, and oh my goodness, it blew up. There's probably more that I missed in those posts, so if I missed those, drop those in the comments below. Sonic S, despite its problems, I still give it praise for a lot of things. Heck, it gave us a great voice cast. I just hope we get more to the animated Sonic cartoons, because I think it will perform better, especially nowadays. Take care.